Poison here for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. You're watching my walkthrough on extra hard difficulty for Haze. Of course, on the PS3. And right now, we're about to move through the Crucible path here. So I'll just hit up some nectar. You can take out those first three guys pretty easy, but then there's going to be some more behind them. So, uh, juice up and head around this corner. And you want to get out of the bottom here pretty fast, so... I like heading up to the right. I find this path to be... I guess, slightly easier. I don't really know. See, and those guys run out. Just light them up. See, you've got a sniper there, but he kind of sucks, so he's going to miss probably a lot. And now he's freaking out, but you don't really have to worry about him because he's he's not very accurate when he's sane, so I wouldn't worry about him killing you when he's crazy. Alright, now I'm going to go into the right here and there's going to be guy with the chain gun. So if you've been using the chain gun, there's some ammo for you. Uh, I don't use it for several reasons amongst the more important ones being uh, there's not a whole lot of ammo for it. Ooh, man, I did not realize those were enemies until I hit the nectar. Good thing I did. Take over behind these if you need to. Kind of a lot of guys at this part. Watch out for more people running out from from back there. Then, uh, now you're gonna have to cross over to the other side because that's where the switch you're looking for is. And as you notice, couldn't possibly be where those guys are running out from. Why would they have enemies in my objective path? That's crazy. No, so I think there's some people behind me. I don't really know. I'm going to let my teammates occupy themselves with that. That's not the door you want. You want the one where those guys have been. Go in here. And pull that switch right there. Alrighty. Now you're probably going to want to hit some nectar again because there are going to be enemies right there. Chuck a nade, you can time that better. One thing I found about using nades is that uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of kills with them because, I don't know, they're kind of slowish, but um, the enemy is very capable when it comes to diving out of the way of your grenades. I don't know why I have snipers here, or why they're attempting to somewhat help you, but they're just getting in the way. So after that nectar disruption wears off right there, I'm pretty sure that one's also a line trigger. I don't think that's timed. So just go ahead and take those guys out. And I don't think your teammates get nectar disruptions like you do, so if you want, you can probably... Wait a second. Let them take care of some of it. But there's Marino. I'm going to use the strategy he's using right there in just a minute, actually. You're going to want to... Uh, when you're riding that thing back over there... You're going to want to hide behind one of those. Alright, so... I can tell they broke open that uh, control panel so you can't use it. Now you're going to head down this ladder. 
trying to see if they have a method of a uh, like quick sliding down it like in a you know rainbow six or something but they don't so to stay tight along this wall here and uh... watch out for those windows because that's where the enemies are going to be There's some more guys across the way we're going to try to go down into that basin whatever you want to call it and then there's going to be some more guys in the windows so again just walk right along the side here then watch out for those guys and just stay low so they can't shoot you through the window when you're not looking You're gonna hit the switch to bring the platform back and then just there shouldn't be much in the way of enemies I don't know where that guy came from but you basically just run right back along the track here since you already killed everybody I'm trying to figure out what my teammates were doing there but whatever then just climb back up the ladder and wait for it can get up on that fence and jump over if you really want to but it would probably kill you I'm just guessing that's how this game works I don't really know why that track is going the opposite direction of the movement of the uh, platform but whatever Alright, so once you're on board here, I'm trying to wait for my teammates, but that's futile. It's gonna hit the button, and then you conveniently have a nectar disruption. And, uh, this promise hand guy's right there, you can, you can shoot at him if you want, but as you can tell, you get messed up pretty darn fast when you're not on nectar. So the best thing to do is just hide behind something. I suggest that pile of steel things right there. I don't really remember why I didn't go hide behind that. You can hide behind this one too. But the other one is just a much better piece of cover. So just stay down. Those guys can't get you. And uh, conveniently, once you get over here, your nectar will quit disrupting. And uh, jump off here. And uh, trying to get shot because you didn't kill any of those guys. But don't worry about them because you're about to get Marino, which is cutscene. So I'll get that in the next video.